I don't know what's up with my GoPro 8. It completely died on me, so. It's snowing, folks. Hey guys, welcome back. It's day eight. I uh, drove over here to a windblown point. Uh, it's kind of windblown. It's kind of heading in that direction. But um, got the spot lock engaged, and I'm gonna present a bunch of different baits right here because they were stacked up here the other day. As you know, yesterday it snowed, and it's actually. 60 degrees right now. It's pretty cold. I'm actually kind of kind of cold. I got two coats on. Even though it's 60, it feels like it's 50. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to give this a shot for a while. Uh, hopefully, I can get into them. If not, it might be a short day fishing. Hey guys, pretty much went straight to my go-to, which has been slow rolling the jig with the Bandito Bug, and got a nice little one here, about two and a half pounder. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. That's a nice fish. I hope I can uh, get on him right here. Next cast, same spot. A little bit smaller one. Pulling them out though. Let's see if we can get some more in that spot.
I kept missing this little guy right here. Um, he was swimming with it like three times and uh, kind of get the hook to go in, but I got him that time. He, uh, he's pretty small. He's really gray. I really think I caught this guy uh, a couple days ago, but oh well, that's three on this spot. Um, slowed down after I caught those first two, but um, I think I might have found a little hole, so I'm gonna keep fishing it for a little while, see what happens. So, get this guy out of here. See ya. What it felt like. Um, not real big, but there's number four uh, around the same spot. You just kind of have to, they're kind of spread out and you kind of have to maneuver on them. So that's what I'm doing. So. Another little guy, he was swimming with it and he swam under the boat where I made the hook set. So, that kind of sucked. That's why I uh, put up such a weird fight. Try to keep it from breaking my line or anything like that. So, let's get this guy back in the water. See you. Prison, my fear just pulled me away, pulled me away. Secrets, fantasies, and me.
grind, guys, but I got another one. It's tiny, and I know that I've caught this before because I showed you guys that scar right there. I've actually caught this fish before. He didn't leave. He didn't leave during that snowstorm, and they're still on these rocks, so they're waiting to go back into the creek channels um, for the spawn here before too long. They're just waiting out here on the points, so um, I don't know what the pattern is, but um, probably end up staying another week. It's going to be really, really hot next week, so like 80s and 70s. Um, so maybe it'll happen while I'm here. Who knows? But let's get this guy back in the water. <sighs> well, guys, I braved the elements. Came out here in the cold, and when I say cold, I it was like 60 degrees, but the wind's blowing and. On this water it's way colder so um like i said i have two jackets on and been out here grinding on the windy points windy rocky points and uh wouldn't have been able to do any of this without that that trolling motor right there uh, in fact right now it's holding us in place with spot lock so we don't drift away i had an old you know foot pedal trolling motor that i used to use and worthless in the wind like you're constantly controlling it with your foot and you can't focus on what you need to be focusing on which is the fish and the bites and the casting and the reeling and whatnot so i'm really glad i got this this new trolling motor it made a world of difference so especially especially with how i'm fishing right now but yeah i really can't believe i came out here and caught that many fish with 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 it snowing yesterday and like dropping into freezing conditions and it's supposed to drop into freezing conditions tonight so that's why i need to call it and i need to uh get out of the water before it gets too dark because it's going to get cold fast so um that's it for day eight i'll see you guys later uh one more thing i forgot to mention was i just broke off right there at the end and uh that was my last blue bandio bug and so I'm get on Amazon and see if they have any because that's the quickest way I can get them out here to the lake house uh, those have been catching them really well a couple other items have been working well but um, never really was a fan of the bandito bug until recently actually this trip and uh, seems to be working really well as a Texas rig so, um, anyways, I'll get online and see if I can get them shipped to the house pretty quickly. Hopefully, I can. So, see you guys later. Hey guys, welcome to what I think is day nine. And um, I had to work late today, so there's not very many hours of light left. I might get an hour, maybe two. Um, there's also a storm rolling in, so hopefully um, that'll help me catch them. But I'm going to a new golf course pond, one I haven't fished yet. Um, it's kind of tucked away in some woods, so. There are houses, 
on one side of it, so maybe someone has stocked some bass in there or brought home a big catch and maybe I can, maybe I can catch it. So um, we'll see. I have a little bit of a walk, not too bad. Um, but I'm driving to the spot and uh, once again my uh, GoPro 8 is not working. The I've contacted GoPro and it was actually out of warranty because it's been over a year. But they were still nice enough to uh, send me a replacement. But I won't have that anytime soon. I won't have the GoPro 8 for the rest of the trip, which means I'm using my GoPro 4 still and I do not have sound. So, um, sorry about that in advance. I got my phone with me. I'll be uh, using that today when necessary. So, I will. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. There's actually a lot of deer right here, so.